Hey guys, it's Uncle Dan, back with Paperless X. In today's video, I will be showing you 8 cool features in Pages. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you won't miss any of our content. In Pages, you can add web videos from YouTube and Vimeo. You can move the embedded video or resize it. Tapping on the video lets you comment on it. In pages, you can comment on anything. It's cool seeing the feature is also available on videos too. For YouTube videos, you get all the playing options you would get in the YouTube app. Presenter mode only works with word processing documents. It doesn't work with page layout. It is like the immersive reader you find in OneNote. A mode where you can focus on what you are reading without the distracting user interface of the app. You can increase the text size, choose a background color, change the font type. Compared to the font options you get in pages, these are very limited. You can also adjust text options to make everything all caps, increase or decrease line spacing, or adjust margins. You can turn on auto scroll and choose the speed for it. This feature doesn't display text boxes, shapes, tables, caption, headers, and other objects. That's why it doesn't work with page layout. Gradient gradually blends two colors for your text and objects. It changes from one color to another at angles you choose. To get started, pick your start and end colors. Flip color to switch their positions and set an angle you want. You can also apply gradient to the entire page. You can apply colors from an image and play around with different looks. You can add color overlay and pick a few color for your image, whose opacity you can adjust. It's fun playing around with colors in pages. Instant Alpha removes unwanted backgrounds or colors from images to make them transparent. This works better with regular shapes because the app doesn't always select the exact sections you want. When you are finished removing colors, tap done to save the changes. Resetting the changes is very simple as well. Page thumbnails display all the pages in your document on the left side of your screen. It is helpful for faster navigation and when you are looking for specific pages in your document. You can then rearrange your pages. When using a word processor in pages, tapping on the thumbnail gives you options to cut, copy, delete and duplicate. Page layout has a few more options select all and edit page template you can edit the page template to change its background color show header and footer you can add items on your page that you want to appear on all the pages in your document you can also add pages to your document Pages has a lot of objects that you can add to your document. The app organizes them into several categories. You can search for an object you need to work faster. You can also add 2D, 3D and interactive colorful graphs. You can add tables to your documents. Adding or removing rows and columns is very simple. You can customize the whole table or its cell. Tables and graphs in pages are very complex and we'll cover them in a different video. What's important to note is how much control you have over them. Pages is both a word processing and a page layout app. Word processors primarily create text documents. Examples of such apps include Microsoft Word and Google Docs. You want to use word processing if your document is mainly text. 
page layout on the other hand gives you a canvas for creating custom designs like posters, books and newsletters. You need to add a text box to type in your text. New pages are added manually. In pages, turning off document body turns your document into a page layout which unlocks a lot of features that are similar to the note-taking style you get in Apple Notes. When converting a Word document to a page layout, your text disappears because page layout only uses text boxes for your text. In this mode, you can move your text and objects much more freely than with a word processor. You have complete control over where you position everything on the canvas. You can add drawings and handwritten notes with your Apple Pencil. The app has a pen tool, pencil, and crayon. You can even draw field shapes. For each of these tools, you can adjust their opacity. With the lasso tool, you can resize sections, move them around, and change their colors. You can also duplicate or separate them. All the drawings you add this way with these tools go into a box, separated from the text on your page. The box behaves as images do in the app. It means you can move the drawings to the back or to the front. You can resize and choose to constrain proportions to keep the aspect ratio of the diagram when you resize it. Turn this option off if you want to either shrink or stretch your drawing. You can rotate your image through some fixed angles or one you choose yourself. You can even enter the degrees if you know them. You can flip horizontally or vertically. Move with text gives you text wrap options when you turn it on. You can also choose to text fit. Extra space lets you decide the space between your drawings and the text on the page. Opacity determines how visible your diagram is. You can add captions and title. Your title can either be at the top or bottom of the drawing. You can also describe your drawing to make it more accessible. In pages, you can format them to look how you want. You also get a cool feature to animate drawings if you want to make your document more interesting. Duration lets you decide how long you want the animation to last and you can loop it to keep repeating. You can annotate your documents with the highlighter tool. Unlike the other tools we have mentioned so far, this does not create a box for your annotations. It annotates the text on the page, the kind of annotation you get with PDF readers. The highlighter tool has two writing tools you can use for annotations, a pen and a highlighter. The highlighter goes in front of your text. The eraser only erases the stroke when removing annotations from your documents. If you have been trying to mix your handwriting with text in Apple Notes, try using Pages. With its page layout options, Pages behaves like the note-taking apps we are used to seeing on the iPad if you don't mind writing on plain paper. You can erase all smart annotations with a single tap. You can control what your Apple Pencil does. Under the three dots icon, go to Apple Pencil to turn on Select and Scroll. That way you can scroll your documents with your Apple Pencil. When you want to add drawings, you go to the plus icon, then drawing. To start annotating your documents, go to the three dots icon and then smart annotation. If you handwrite notes more than you type them, you can switch this off. Or turn on the option to switch with double tap if you use the second generation Apple Pencil. 
Let us know how you use pages and if you have any interesting features you would like to share with us. Thank you for watching.